So if you guys were around for Ultra PSO2 Day on February 2nd, you would have noticed that if you used any of your bonus keys, or if you just played the game in general, you made a ton of Meseta, you leveled up super duper fast, you had insane amounts of rare drop rate, and life was really really good. Well in today's video, I'm letting you guys know that we have a second round of Ultra PSO2 Day coming up. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily, so if you do play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So first things first, disclaimers. I need to get this disclaimer out of the way because it is super duper important. This second Ultra PSO2 day only applies to people who have premium. So if you're like me and you're fully free to play and you don't have premium, we will not gain all the benefits that all the premium players will get on premium player appreciation day. I think that's what they call it. But either way, it will be happening on February 22nd. So on February 22nd, remember everything we got on Ultra PSO2 Day in February 2nd? The same thing is going to apply, but only for the premium members. So if you're sitting on the fence wondering if you should spend a little bit of money, now would be a great time to buy a one-month premium just specifically for this day. Now the main difference between this Ultra PSO2 Day is it will only last for 24 hours. The previous PSO2 day that we had on February 2nd, that lasted like three days. That lasted all the way until February 4th because they had like some server delay, some issues, and we got compensated really, really nicely. Unfortunately, on the 22nd, there is no scheduled maintenance or anything, so there probably won't be any compensation for that. So if you are a premium member, why is it so important to know that the 22nd is Ultra PSO2 day? The reason for this is because Ultra PSO2 day only happens two times a year and that is on february 2nd and february 22nd happens every single time on the jp server and it's also happening this time for the first time on the global server so it's in your best interest to prepare for ultra pso today since there are so many benefits and so many boosts from it a very good incentive is to get all of your classes to level 100 the reason for that is because you gain 10 augment passes for every character you get to level 100 and on top of that when you get all your classes to level 100 you get an additional 40 augmentation passes and the reason why you want all these augmentation passes is because you're going to need them in order to make your end game units so after you make your perfect four affix units with guardian soul absolute glare crack five veteran five then you're going to be using your augment transfer passes in order to upslot those units all the way until eight slots so you would add in mana reverie ether factor as well as grand might or whatever stat that you want and then your last one would be an s grade augment and in order to get all those stats onto your final unit which is your cross units you're going to need to use all of these augment transfer passes in order to have a hundred percent success rate so you're not gambling at all and so you're going to need a lot of these augment transfer passes so the math adds up to 420 augment transfer passes you're going to need a total of 420 in order to complete all three units and you can only get 40 augment transfer passes every single month if you manage to collect all the class x cubes for all the different varying classes in order to get that so you know it's a lot it's a lot of augment transfer passes so you want to get every class to 100 to save yourself several months of pain and yeah that's really the main reason why people are working towards getting to level 100 because they want all those augment transfer passes but don't forget, you also get a bunch of star gems for getting all your classes to level 80 and 85, I believe. I forgot which one, or maybe you get it on both. I, I forgot, right? But you get a bunch of star gems for that as well, okay? But let's say you're not a super min-maxer, and you don't really care about getting endgame units, endgame augments, and all that jazz immediately, right? You're like, I'm a casual player, I'll play at my own pace, I'll eventually get there. Well, Ultra PSO2 Day, if you're a premium member... It's a very good opportunity to farm extreme quest for those veteran resolves as well as that crack in order to make even more money because you're going to get that extra rare drop rate you're getting extra meseta you're getting extra exp and life is good all right so you really want to take advantage of that so that you can maximize your gains on ultra pso today now if you're a fully free to play player just like myself does anything i just said matter to you at all and my answer to that is yes to an extent 
The reason I say that is because there's going to be a lot of premium members that want to farm extreme quest in order to make money. And so they're going to be crazy farming that. And so what you can do as a free to play player is join them and also make some money on the side. Or if you're someone that really enjoys affixing or augmenting, you can get your materials at a slightly lower price because there's going to be a huge surge of supply on that day. So prices are going to go down and thus you can capitalize on that by buying it. Now that I've said it though, I want to see what happens because you want to make money and people are going to be buying at the same time. So which one wins, the supply or the demand? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels, the boosts, the rest.